it. It's another day here. We've got uh, our pile of copper here with all the solder joints on it. We're going to try to make some uh, Nordic gold out of that. I've got a little bit of zinc here. We're going to do a 90% copper, 5% zinc, 5% aluminum um, uh, mixture on it today. So we've got about two and a half pounds of copper. Um, this also has a solder on it. So that's going to go into our zinc calculations as well. Um, once again, I can't get an exact calculation on it. So I've just cut the zinc in about half. Um, for this amount, we got two ounces of zinc and two ounces of aluminum. And I'm going to add a little bit uh, extra aluminum because this does have a little extra copper in it. So it doesn't have that full amount um, of aluminum weight. But anyways, we've got our number six crucible. We're going to melt that down. Um, and then uh, we're going to make some Nordic gold. Tell me before, uh, have you ever made Nordic gold? Um, do you have a calculation that you like best? Um, and uh, we're also going to cast some stuff, hopefully, uh, with uh, this Nordic gold as well. So, um, and in the end, we'll make some nice pretty blocks. So, uh, follow along and uh, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. And uh, if you like what you're seeing, don't forget to hit the subscribe as well. Here we go. So we're going to try to cast some bullets here. We've got a 223-65 Creedmoor. Uh, this is 762 by 54 Mosin Nagant, and then a 30-06 military uh, full metal jacket. So those are the bullets that we're going to cast today. I've got my kinetic sand. Oop. We're going to cast them in that. So here we go.
All right, here we are with our final cleanup. These bars turned out phenomenal. Pretty gold color, so polished up really nice with the wire brush. Um, once again, uh, this is 90% copper, 5% zinc, and 5% aluminum. Uh, give it a nice pretty gold color, and it's really dense. It's not brittle at all, even this smaller piece that's really thin, I can't break. So I've had a few where trying to mix some of these together, it becomes brittle, so. Um, turned out to be a good strong alloy um, but if you have a different recipe than that throw it down in the comments I'm really curious to know what other people uh, like to use to make their Nordic gold so anyways that's a, just the one that I found I like the best so I'm going to get a bunch of these and then do a few projects with them uh, once I get all these ingots uh, made up so um, got a bunch more to do there um, but anyways my office is a mess I've been working on some uh, electronics again but uh should have another electronic video coming out but uh grateful for everyone who has uh followed along so far and has subscribed to my channel um or and, and to what we do we we love doing this and it's it's just a lot of fun so and seeing this pretty uh um bullion when you're done is amazing. So, um, if you don't mind, uh, if you're not a subscriber and you like what you've seen, uh, smash that, uh, like button and also the subscribe button. There should be one down in the corner there or over on this side. I don't remember which one, but, uh, also I'll put a, a, a thing at the end of the video to, to do that, to be able to subscribe, but we're grateful for everyone who has, uh, I hope you all have a, a blessed week and, uh, God bless. And we'll see you next week.